Hello. Welcome to the first proper video in this room. A couple weeks ago, I got this comment on my video when I was comparing all the different mini shotgun mics for putting onto cameras. And they were saying that they wish that I had actually done some walking around so you could hear the comparison of the shock mounts for the cameras. Since I was saying the one for the small rig S20 was not as shock absorbent as some of the other ones. And that actually got me thinking because all the videos that I've done using the S20, I've been using the shock mount that comes with the Rode Video Micro because it does work better. And I'm gonna just kind of demonstrate that for you real quick. This right here is the S20 on the Rode Video Micro shock mount. So if you see, whenever I hit it with my finger, it wobbles around quite a bit. This is the shock mount that comes with the S20, and as you can see, doesn't have as much shock absorption as the Rode does. I started thinking about it. What are your options if you buy something like the S20 and you wanna use a different shock mount? Obviously, not everybody is gonna buy two microphones just so you can have your perfect setup with one microphone and a shock mount from another microphone. So what do you do? The first thing I actually did was I looked online to see if you could just buy the Rode shock mount and I didn't find it anywhere. So obviously that's not gonna be an option unless you buy the Rode microphone. And this actually rose a second question for me. What do you do if you buy something like a Rode Video Micro and you break the shock mount. So what I've done is I've rounded up the three options that you can find on Amazon of small shock mounts that you can put on top of a camera for small microphones like this. And we're gonna compare those today. So the first one that we're gonna look at is by a company called Tosicam. As you can see with this, it's just hard plastic. There's no springiness to this at all. Now the first thing I noticed when I actually got it in the mail is that the S20 specifically doesn't even fit in it properly. So you can see it actually just kind of wobbles around in there and the only shock absorption you would have at all, which it isn't even shock absorption, is just from the microphone moving around in the mount. So this one's very likely to give you a lot of noise through the camera, just of like bumping around the, whatever you're using to hold your camera, whether it's, you know, a tripod or if you're just holding the camera itself. Now, the next one we're gonna be looking at is by another company on Amazon called Yeeliwit. And this one is obviously styled to look like the shock mount that comes with the Rode Video Micro. And in fact, it even says Rode on it. The biggest problem that I'm seeing with this because it does actually have a little bit of like shock absorption, even though the plastic is much harder than the Rode Video Micro Shock Mount. The clamp to hold the microphone is super small and actually really tight. I haven't actually even put a microphone in it because the first time I messed with it when I pulled it out of the box, I was actually worried it was gonna break. So we're actually gonna do that on camera so we can see if it actually breaks or not when I put the S20 in it. All right, so we're gonna try and put the S20 in this knockoff road shock mount. All right, so luckily it didn't actually break, but I did hear a little bit of cracking. So it's entirely possible that it might break after a few uses, but at least compared to the first one, you can see there is more shock absorption there. Now the last one we're gonna look at is made by a company called Dream Grip. 
And this one I think is the most promising. That's because it doesn't actually hold the microphone with a plastic grip like any of the other shock mounts do. This one actually holds with little elastic bands. So it's it's kind of more like a larger shock mount you might see with a microphone for recording like vocals in a studio setting. Now when you have the microphone in there, there's a couple things you'll notice. Obviously, lots of shock absorption there, but since it doesn't hold it as firm as the other ones, I've noticed that it kind of slides out a little bit. And if you're using something like the S20, the second mic input jack to daisy chain microphones together is gonna be blocked. So you won't actually be able to use multiple microphones using this shock mount, which that might not even be an issue for you. So you might not care about that at all. The one thing I would be a little bit more weary of is if it actually falls out with the rubber bands since it's not being gripped in as tightly as some of the other shock mounts. So for all these tests, I'm gonna be using the Canon M50 mounted on a Joby Gorillapod and I'm gonna have the audio settings set to one quarter. So basically what that means is it's gonna be at the first notch instead of like halfway or all the way down. Going out for a quick walk around the neighborhood just to give a walking test with the different shock mounts. This first one, just as sort of like a baseline, is the one that comes with the S20. So this is the shock absorption quality that you would get just walking around with the S20 with the shock mount that comes with it. I'm gonna change hands a little bit just so you can see if you get any noise when you do things like change hands. Next one is gonna be the red plastic one that came from Amazon. The one that is just completely hard plastic, no shock absorption at all. Same thing, change hands, just to see what it can actually pick up and what it doesn't. Now, we're using the knockoff road shock mount. Again, just like before when I tried to put it in the shock mount, it felt like it might break. So, this might work just because I can see that the microphone is wobbling around more than with the other two that I've used so far. It might be a good choice if you never take it out and put it back in, just so you'll never have to worry about breaking the shock mount just from using it. That being said, if the microphone stays in the shock mount for an extended amount of time, it's always possible that it could still break. So lastly now we have the dream mount. So we'll see if this one actually does a decent job of absorbing bumps and you know handing the tripod off to a second hand a, a different hand so hopefully this one does good I have high expectations for this one since it's so much alike other types of shock mounts that you would use in like a studio type setting but we'll find out. So after reviewing the footage from all four shock mounts, what I can say the best option for you is gonna be is to just actually use the shock mount that comes with the S20. After listening to all four clips, it had about the same quality from like moving hands and bumping around as the Dream Mount as well as the Knock Off Road. And you don't have to buy anything extra to actually make it work. It just comes in the box, you just hook it up and it works well. Now, as for the question of if you break your shock mount, which of these should you buy? I would definitely say the Dream Mount if you're gonna be doing something like this, sitting in front of a camera where you can kinda, you know, maybe boom it up, hang the microphone out of it, you won't have to worry about the microphone falling out or anything like that. Uh, it will work much better than any of the other ones for that kind of situation. The one to stay away from for sure, this one, this was kind of to be expected. It's hard plastic no shock absorption at all. You can hear in the clip when I'm walking around with it, when I switch hands, you can hear much more rattle. That is definitely though from the microphone not fitting properly 
in the mount. As for the knockoff road, there's a couple of things that I liked and disliked about it. You could actually see the microphone moving around when you're walking with it, so you know you are getting some shock absorption there. But with how tight the actual mount is, I feel like it's gonna break at some point. Whether you leave the microphone in there for a long enough time or taking the microphone in and out, I definitely feel like it's going to break. Also, the threads to, to tighten this on to the hot shoe on your camera. There was one point where I thought I may have stripped the threads just from tightening it because it's such soft plastic. And honestly, that's to be expected. It's it's a knockoff of an actual Rode Shockman. It says Rode on it and it doesn't come from Rode. So that's my rundown of the shock mount that comes with the S20 as well as the three shock mounts that you can get off of Amazon. I will link everything in the description below and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.